CES 2018 coverage is brought to you by Silicon Dust, the makers of the HD Home Run digital television tuners. So we just stopped by the Zeiss booth and checked out their new product called VR1 Connect. Now Zeiss makes lenses and why this is relevant to VR is that they have a smartphone headset using some of the Zeiss lenses to give you some VR stuff. And this new product they have uh, is not only integrating some of their physical products but also a software component to allow you to play Steam VR games using your smartphone. They've got a headset that you put your phone into as I mentioned along with two controllers. You don't get room scale in the sense that you can walk around like you might with the, uh, the HTC Vive for example but you can play all of the current Steam VR games on your phone stream to it over a USB cable. I found the experience to be pretty nice. In fact, the clarity of the image was better than my Vive. It was much better in focus. I didn't see as much uh, blurriness as I'm looking around, so I was pretty pleased with the image quality. Uh, there was a bit of latency, though. They had an iPhone 10 that they were using there with the OLED display, and I wonder if that might have contributed a little bit to the latency. So I'll have to try to get one of these things in, compare it. It works with the iPhone and the Android phone. Maybe try a few different phones and see which one works the best with it but if you are looking to get into VR and don't want to spend 800 bucks on some VR system $160 is what they're charging for this and of course you will have to bring your own phone this channel is brought to you by the lawn.tv supporters including gold level supporters the black eyed and blues music hour podcast Chris Allegretta Steve Blixt Stanley Taub and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.